on, guys. Forget the fact that we've been spending the last five hours cooped up in a dark basement doing a stupid acres project that Rasm just had to assign right before a three-day weekend when we should be running outside like normal children. Now forget all that. I brought you guys here today because I thought we deserved a break. Who knows, maybe this art museum will give us the inspiration we need for our project. Well, I mean, maybe if we took us to a normal place like the mall or something, we'd be more willing to go. But I guess Amy does need a break from Candy Crush. Wow! Oh, this museum is so nice. I totally feel one with the paintings. You are such a nerd. Why am I even friends with you? Guys, I finally passed level 267! Oh, no. stop, Amy! You need to stop. Guys, guys, look at this gem right here. Look at it. Myself, I can definitely see that there's a lot of hidden meaning behind this art piece. You? An artist? Please, if anyone can see the hidden meanings, it would be me. Is it just me, guys? Or do you feel a sense of loneliness from this painting? You're right. I totally am curious about what the painter was feeling when he was painting this. You mean Edward Hopper? What? What? Who? Oil painting, urban and rural setting, carefully geometric design. I'm not dumb, you know. But wouldn't it be cool if we could just step into the scene? It's so serene. Yes, as you may know, 
S. Scott Fitzgerald. Mr. Tom Kukanana over there, along with his wife Daisy, represents all the Americans who have foolishly wasted their life chasing their American dream for money. The Warring Twenties was glamorous and charming, yes, but with glamour and charm comes waste and self-destruction. I hope she'll be a fool. That's the best thing a girl can be in this world. A beautiful little fool. Director buddy Harold Clarman once said, Pleasure with the color of the time. Well, look around. All these people do is play and party. The wealthy pretty much never work. Pleasure was everything. Dude, you are depressing. Well, it's not just me who thought like this, you know. Here, look at this political cartoon I so conveniently have in my pocket. On the left it says, these men were good from the neck down. And on the right it says, but now you have to be from the knees down. As the decades progressed, the trend of materialism progressed. The order of Franklin to Shakespeare to Washington to Cicero shows the cartoonist views that society is declining and he disapproves of the 20 citizens' lavish lifestyle and self-indulging actions, especially with President Harding's lackluster policies. Plus, according to this chart right here, the agricultural income is clearly at a steady decline during the 1920s. Can you see why I moved to Paris now? Yeah, um, where's Amy? Wait, what happened to her? She's probably still at the art museum looking all over for us. We gotta get back. Sir, you have to help us. Yeah, yeah, I know. I'll get you chosen back to where you need to be. Looks like my job here is done anyway. Good luck on the a -push project, and I hope you use the knowledge I've given you to present to your class about the arts and literatures of the Roaring Twenties. Wait, how did you know about our a -push? Amy, you were here the whole time? Oh yeah, hi guys. The craziest thing just happened. While you two were looking at that painting over there, there was this huge white light, and before I knew it, you suddenly disappeared. I mean, I was confused for a while, but then I realized what a magical thing that took you guys obviously left my phone behind. So you just forgot. Guys, I beat level 275. <laughs> Whatever. Let's just go back home and get started on our Apish project, okay? I guess it's safe to say we got some inspiration from a certain artist. Legit playing Candy Crush. Oh, I have this one. This is not a joke. <laughs> Wait, why is Thank you.